Welcome to Los Angeles International. Everybody's flocking to the city of dreams, hoping to hitch their wagon to a star. Passport, please. What is the purpose of your visit? I'm an actor, douchebag. <laughs> I'm a psychic superstar. I'm a documentary filmmaker. I'm here to win prizes, sweet cheeks. Are you traveling alone? Oh, no, I've got my mummy now. What these three men don't realize is that fame and fortune are fleeting. It's stupidity that's eternal. Welcome to La La Land. Brendan, Shirley, and Gary all came to Los Angeles thinking just getting here was half the battle. However, they are each about to find out that success is not a destination, but a journey. Little did you think that you'd be coming to Hollywood to fish bees I out of my mind. pool. I don't mind, Mrs. L. I would do anything for you. Gary is seeking advice from his mentor, Ruta Lee, about creating a film in which he will star. I'm imagining, imagine this title of the film, Flickering. Imagine two different words coming together yes. on the screen. For what? Or I've got this one, which is going round. Honey. We've got much more important things to do than this. We've got to shape you into star material. This has nothing to do with it. I've got sparrow hawk starling, vulture, condor, cockatiel. Now, wait a minute. This is an animated film that you're talking about? No, I'm thinking the villain needs an animal. Excuse me. This is so far in the future. You're a baby when it comes to this business. You need a lawyer. You need an agent. You need everything. Yeah, but I've got ideas. Like, the villain could be, like, either... I was thinking, like, you've, you've had knick-knack and odd job. What about odd-knack or nick job? Your little fakakta ideas don't mean anything. Nothing! Top of the line, Mr. Charlie. Let me okay, see. come on, get on okay. the shoes, Chico. Right, right, right. I'll do it right now, Mr. Charlie. There's a lot of psychics going to be auditioning today. They're going to pick one to present the TV show, Spirited. Com how do you say competitor? Competitor? Comp Competitors? Competitors, Competitors, yeah. So I need to do something that's going to set me apart from everyone else. Oh, I'm so bloody nervous. Whoa. The search for America's next psychic superstar is underway at the auditions for Spirited, a new paranormal TV show. My name's Anthony. I'm just going to shake your hand, or rather you didn't touch me. Anthony. Mm -hmm. Anthony, he's evil, and he's done terrible things. Just feel something in him. I felt the same thing. Yeah, he's like someone circling for prey. That's what he's like. He's evil. For you to slam his bloody head in a car door repeatedly. Oh, don't say that. That's... If you were, it would say evil down his neck. Still, he's killed children. Does Anthony got his drink on him? Uh, yes. Because I've got some tablets in my back. And if I give you one of them, could you pop it in his drink? No, not at all. That's what happens if I, put, if I put you in, under a spell? No, I will not accept a spell. No, don't say anything to anybody, all right? Otherwise, I, I will not. I, I, if you say anything to anybody, I don't want to threaten you, but where's your drink? I'm not drinking. Right. <laughs> Gary is on a quest to find an agent, but first needs an acting showreel. He's meeting a husband and wife producing team who will put him on tape using scripts he's written based on his own life. And action. You're gorgeous, Gary. You complete me. You don't want to get involved with a guy like me. I'm a dangerous man. Frankly, I don't give a care. I love you. Uh, you're getting married to Mickey. Sorry, it's, you really put me off and you look me in the eyes and all that. My mind goes off because I start thinking about... You're getting married to Mickey. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just putting everything where it should be. This scene is, is about your desire, but you I have know. to control it. Right, I am trying all to right? control it. Okay, you guys ready? And action. You know your problem, Sandra? You can't handle the truth. We are history. Of course I want to go up here. <laughs> is, that, <laughs> is that it? I do. I really do. OK, here we go. Rolling. One more blowjob. Don't make me beg. All right, then. I'll meet you by the bins. But that is it. All right, I'm going to mark you guys. I got him. Why are you down there? 
<laughs> Might as well do the blowjob right now. <laughs> Are you okay, Miss Ellis? <laughs> so we're gonna do the fight scene next, Aaron, I think. I'm gonna grab Aaron and on, on Sorry, the... mate, she was giving me an odd on what can I do about it. I've got a boner, because she would just looked me in the eyes in that little soft way when Dan just said to me, I'll give you a blowjob. Don't know where the acting, you know, finishes and reality starts. Right, right. It's acting. Hi, Shirley. Hello. Hello. Do you mind if I just touch your face? No, go ahead. OK. Oh, glasses. Rob, can I just sure. get a sense of you? All right, okay, all right. All right, thank okay. you. Okay, can I just say, Tom's just been in, and I don't think he's right for this. All I'm saying is you're giving someone like Tom the bloody runaround and the lead on to think he can do something with his life, and he can't. He's better off if we just put him in a sack and drown him because it's not this life he's going to succeed in, it's the next. Would you understand what I'm saying, Cleo? Absolutely. I feel like I shouldn't really say this because I don't want to influence you in any way. I was visited by a night demon, quite a high up demon, who is a general. I don't, is this television friendly, the eyes? Yes, it is. Okay, but this demon has got it in for both of you. He's gonna kill you. And he said the only thing I could do to prevent it happening was go and audition for Spirited and get it. You still might get a guest spot. The demon said no bloody guest spots. <laughs> Hey, baby, can I just have two seconds of your time? Brendan hopes to win critical acclaim with an environmental documentary. He plans to release an endangered species into the wild, but with no credible expert or rare animal, he is forced to improvise. I'm making a movie about the condor. The bird? Yes, the bird. We're taking it from captivity and releasing it into the wild. We had um, an ecologist booked from Poland, Professor Studek, and she's let me down at the last minute, and I just need someone who could just be an ecologist for me. I just need someone that looks horny in a lab coat. Do you think you might be able to help me? Help you what? Money? Well, no, I'm sure you pretended. Yeah. I'm sure you faked orgasms uh -huh. or we can fake this. Could you pass yourself as an ecologist? Probably. Um, I need to sign this. Uh, I can run through it with you. It's just Brandy Lana film should not be liable for any injury sustained whilst engaged in this film, whether inadvertent or accidental or direct on purpose. Any negative exposure of Brandy Lana films will invoke Clause 027 of this contract, in which the signatory must publicly admit they are a liar. Failure to edit will result in an instant allocation of your worldly possessions of Brennan Land Films. That just means nothing, really. Um, is there anything you want to ask me before we start? Because we can't really... Well, I mean, we're doing this now? Yeah, well, we're going for it now. OK. okay. Can you put? Can you button, button it up? Oh, well, it's going to be tight. Have you got anything lower cut than that? Um... You are now Professor Studek. Studek. Studek? Okay. Okay. Professor Studek, how was your flight? Very tiring, very, very long. long. So what we're doing is we're going to the zoo. There's an expert there who breeds uh, the condors in captivity. And they're giving us a condor to release. Right, we're here. I'm going to need you two to uh, wait in the car while I pop into the zoo. Come on, Brendan. Just look him in the eye. Tell him you need a condor. OK. I am just made you a drink. No, thank you very much. Are you not going to accept my gift? No, thank you. Is it because I'm blind? No, I know it's Which from is, the heart. Why don't you have a little sip? Because I'm not thirsty. It's coffee. You I like coffee, don't you? Yes, but I'm not thirsty. I'm fine. Just have a little sip as a friendly thing to do. Anthony, huh? I bought you a coffee. Nice Enjoy day. it. Having completed his showreel, Gary is hoping to impress veteran Hollywood agent Steve Stevens. 
So tell me a little bit about you. Uh, I'm an actor. I'm big news. I've got like, I'm like the next sort of the big thing that you ain't ever heard of yet. Number one, I want to be able to see your ability as an actor. I want you to do an improv for me. Okay? Right, okay, and yeah. I want you to be a young, insecure attorney telling the jury pool that your client is innocent. Right. But you're a little insecure with it. Maybe this is your first time in front of a jury. Right, okay, I can do that. <clears throat> um, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, um, I'm a little bit uh, nervous just to let you know because I'm a little bit insecure because this is the first time I've done anything like this. But I've got to be straight up with you, all right? This little lady here, she is innocent. And you, old man, you could ruin her life. So if you do not give me an innocent verdict, I will track you down and nut her. OK. It's good. What do you want? Take them. Why? I just need a lock of Anthony's hair. Oh, I cannot do that. I cannot do that. He's coming. Don't, 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 don't. don't. I cannot do this. It's an ethical thing for me. I cannot. Can I just say, Tom has been saying wretched things about you. It I doesn't don't matter. Think it's fair that I don't being care. Being horrible about your boobs. I don't care. He said you I was a pothead. I need Can to we walk just away. I need to walk away now. But you look like you have long hair, right? Would anybody like a drink? No, no, no we're good. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. No. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Right. How would you take the handbrake off? Fuck's sake. How would you take the handbrake off? Oh, shit. Is that the police? Oh, God, can you hear that thing? What is it? It's the bloody condor. Right, we got the bird. Kiki, just film. Are you on me? The car was full of joy. Myself, Brendan Allen, award-winning documentary maker. Professor Sturek, ecologist from Poland, were excited about the release of the Californian condor. Let that poor bird free. Whoa. 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 Ooh, ooh. Oh, shit. That's the bird. Uh, how do I God. reverse? How do I reverse? Whoa, it's all right, it's all right. He's okay. Oh my God, he's gonna die. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all right. Nothing to worry about. Oh, oh. shit. It's fine. It's not. Fine. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Whoa. Okay. You're all right. You're all right. Let me just know. It's fine. It's fine. You gotta clean the out. It's fine. It's fine. Nobody worry. There we go. There we go. See? See? Oh, it's going. Oh my god. There we go. That's what? just the windshield. That's not the bird. The bird, I think, is actually quite sleepy. I've actually done a show reel. This will blow you away. You're giving me the winkles, mate. You're giving everyone a winkles. You're a muppet, and you should be on a register. Right, get out, you greasy pedophile, because we don't want to see you in here. Yes, Gary has saved the day. 
Gary Garner. Just so you got background on it, I wrote them and I own the rights to all of the material. Also, I can string it out to be a proper film. Like, I've got a load of ideas of different things that me and Mickey oh, have done. Wait, 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 time, time, time out, time out. Let's, let's get into that. Let, let, let me talk about what I just saw, OK? The martial arts stuff was horrible. It looked bad, it looked phony. Well, you, no, you were proper. this, you were this far away from him. That's how they do it now, you, I don't know. Like, back in the day when they'd done all the oldies, you like could've... Bruce Lee, it was different. Whereas now, the way they film stuff, it's more like that, more matrixy. When you record these things, they have a camera there, you do the scene, then they move the camera and you do it again. Uh-huh. Because when you actually go to cinema and that, it looks like it's all just happening, but it's not. Gee, I didn't know that. I would not, as somebody's representative, show somebody that. But can I just let you know that the context of it, and I think that's what you're missing, is this little dweeb come into the horseshoe. He was drunk, but he was all like, it's a true story. You're not, you're and not, he was, yeah, you're but, not listening. Because he was supposed to be more mental. Like, the guy who did it was more like, uh, like all that. I should all use right. the proper guy with downs. That was what the guy had, and he was drunk on top of that. You're not understanding what I'm trying to relate to you and obviously no, I uh, I'm, not, I I'm, not, I'm not relating to what you're saying to me. Use okay? real downs. No. Oh, I've got to go. I've got to get to work. Thank you. Please. Thank you. This, I mean, I've, this, is, I, this, is, this, is, this is it. Can okay. I leave you a card? Uh, I've got your picture. i got your resume. Oh, God. At the spirited auditions, Shirley anxiously awaits Cleo's decision on the three finalists. I want to thank you all on behalf of Spirited to oh, come Oh, come on, give us a chance, please. And to be, because yeah. I've done... I haven't, we did, stop, I did. I haven't stopped talking. I haven't actually stopped. Let me talk. My goodness. At this time... He's in charge. Please give her that oh, Is that Anthony? The, we know thank everyone you. wants you to go, so bloody hope you get going. At this time... Sicko. Uh, Tom? What? Got through? No, people are... He shouldn't get through. Could you please let me finish talking? This is not... This is people who have to go home right now. Oh, brilliant. Oh, sorry, Tom. <sighs> so who's staying right now is Davida, Robin, and Shirley. Oh, yes! I really want to thank you oh. for coming. <laughs> See, you shouldn't be talking. Shut no. you up, Tom, didn't it? Uh, Fucking stupid Anthony. Got more bloody psychic capability in my little finger than he has in his old bloody body. Didn't I tell you that? It was me and you? The reason that I think it's between me and you is that we're the best looking people here. What's Davida, pig? She looks very Jewish with red hair. Right. I know exactly what you mean. There's something in this. Did you put something in the water? It tastes different. No. What did I drink, Shirley? Nothing. Just, I don't know. Just don't operate machinery. Katie! Hello. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry, all right? That I should never have transported a bird on the bloody roof rack. Mm -hmm. It wasn't your fault. I mean, you know, accidents happen. It just flew off. It just flew off. Oh, my fucking flew off. Yeah, yeah. The guy at the zoo knew how you were going to transport it, right? He didn't? I'm a moron. I just get these, I get these massive uh, opportunities and I just screw them up. You need to kick back and relax a little bit. What am I going to do for an ending? What's the ending? Give me an ending. There must be something in that little bed of yours. Should we, can we release the condor? She, yeah. You how, know? How? What we do? Pretend we're lo letting it loose. OK, um, so Kiki, no lower than here. Yes. Can you keep the camera up? Yeah. No, up. So we're going to dip down. No, that's it. That, can you, don't go below here. I think you should go get the condor. OK. You know? OK? Yep. It's oh. waking up again. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I, it is. I went and got it. Oh, fuck. I went, in, I went and got it from the van, and now it's okay, woken you, up again when, when I was you... dragging it. Listen. Come on, baby. I'll unzip it. Okay. Come on. 
look, 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 look. Come on. Uh, okay. um, should we say something? Yeah. I've actually got some poems that have been written, um, and I thought it'd be nice to read one of those. This was written by Kiki. I don't care that they eat dead things. I like their feathers and I like their wings. They could eat babies for all I care. I like their eyeballs and their hair. So if you don't like them, go away. I am in a condor mood today. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, Kiki. One, One two, two, three. Oh, oh look. 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 Wow. It's soaring through the sky. Like it. Plane. We saved it. Yeah. We did good. Meanwhile, the spirited finalists make their way to the oldest film stage in Hollywood in search of paranormal activity. What else is there I need to know now, Chico? Get on the bloody computer now. Could you please turn off your phone? Yes, it's off. But I'm also seeing a lot of pain and emotional, so I don't know if it's the people Can that work here. Can you over there, please, whoever's in talking? Because I've got something coming through. Uh, 1950, I am getting 1950. Um, Can you please shush over there because I'm talking? Who would understand Charlie Chaplin? Because this is what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. Do you understand? Oh, I understand perfectly. It's either Charlie Chaplin or Hitler. So why don't you guys with your little power, the three of you, and compare notes about what you pick here. OK. Come on, girls, what did you find? Now, Davida felt uh, a young male spirit, no. right? Crying. I felt a female no. crying no. over there. No. That's not what you got, but that's what I've got. Your turn. Disney All right, right. so now we're going to get the facts, Last not the fiction. Easy. OK, what they're saying to me, Davida and Robin, is this studio was built in 1914. Now, that's quite precise, so can we check that, please? Keep going. Shushy. Well, do not shush me. No, listen to me, Cleo, because I am the host of the show. Well, you're not and you are the of stage. Show yet. So do not say listen to me, do not talk to me. Right, like you're this. the stage I manager. Am not your and I am just I'm not your okay, stage manager. Okay, and can we cut there, please? I've just had an email in from a Bob in Seattle that says, Well done, Shirley, everything's going great. And is really enjoying the show. There's no show right now. We're just yeah, I'm, trying I'm, to I'm see. feeling the show. I'm trying no, to do the show just, for It's just you. the fact that you were on the phone that kind of yeah. kills your whole psychic ability right now. Yeah. I was not on the phone, Rob. Yeah. And well, is that a little does, smug? Did someone's smug alarm gone off, Davida? You're a pain in the ass. You have alienated the hell out of everyone. And you tried to play games and mind screw everybody. That is so awful to put me Absolutely. Oh, down. Absolutely. Are you gonna like cry that? now? Because you did to me. Oh. No. You were saying something well, interesting no, about you're this stuff. Put me down like that. It's not fair. Do not raise your voice. Right, well, <laughs> she just raised her voice. She just raised well, her voice. How old are you? Twelve and a half? Well, she just raised her voice. This is high school? This is high school. Yo, Yo, it's not gonna work, okay? It's not gonna work, okay? Okay, you know what? We're okay, done for today. You know uh, All right, that's so a wrap. It did work. Everybody no, go home. No, can I just finish what no, I'm saying? No, we're done. If you do not put me in this show, I will kill myself. Do not threaten me. I'm threatening you, Cleo. Shut the hell up. I will kill myself. Close, close the door. I'm going to call the police immediately if you don't close the door. Please. Surely? Cleo. You're making yourself look really bad. Go outside I just want a chance. I want a chance. I want to be on the bloody show. And you want to be on the show. I want to be the head of the bloody spirited. I want to be on spirited. I can't go with nothing. I want to be unspirited. You know, security's coming right now, yeah. right? They can arrest me if I go back to England. Well, you should be arrested. You spiked my drink. They're going to do a lot worse than that when I get back to England, all right, because of the little girl. I just wanted to give the parents closure. And she was Chico. Pull down. Tell these people, Chico, to give me a chance. OK. I talked to the lady and she said, there's no more chances. You need to calm down. Will you hold me? Just hold me. OK, OK, OK. You need to calm down. Calm down. I love you, Chico. Tomorrow's going to be a nice day.